Hey there, it's Ashley. Welcome back. In this final installment of our money series, we're going to talk all about how to avoid and spot fake money in China. Let's get started. Although the chances of you receiving fake bills are low, it's a good idea to educate yourself on the off chance you do. Let's start with tips to help you avoid receiving fakes in the first place. Always exchange money at a reputable location. These include airports, hotels, and the Bank of China. Avoid the money changers that often camp outside near banks. Not only is this illegal, but it's unsafe, plus you just might find yourself with counterfeit money. ATMs, especially those attached to banks, are also a good option to replenish your cash and avoid fake bills. You can learn why I recommend ATMs found at banks in the ATM section of this video. I also recommend asking for small bills when exchanging your money or making a withdrawal at a bank. Here are a couple of reasons why. There's a greater chance of receiving fake bills as change at small street vendors. Fake bills come in all denominations, so the closer you can come to exact change, the less likely you are of encountering fakes. Also, restaurants, shops, and taxi drivers all hate breaking 100 yuan bills for small transactions. Using smaller bills can eliminate the risk of you receiving fake 50 yuan bills as part of your change. If you receive fake bills from a taxi driver, be sure to get a receipt and take a photo of his license plate number with your cell phone or write the number down. Prepare ahead to avoid the old switcheroo. Although unlikely you may present an authentic 100 yuan bill to a shop owner, then they will switch it with a fake one and tell you, sorry, it's fake. Placing a sharp crease down the middle of the bill ahead of time and making it a point to apologize to the shopkeeper for the crease can make switching it near impossible for the shopkeeper. If someone does slip you a fake bill, don't confront them. Instead, visit the nearest police station and let them handle it. Now, let's take a look at both a 100 yuan bill released in 2005 and a more current version of the bill to learn how to spot fakes. Starting with 2005. Number one, the serial number has four red and six black characters. The size of the characters becomes gradually smaller from the middle to the left and right sides. Number two, hold the build up to a light source to see the watermark of Mao Zedong. The watermark is part of the paper so you can see it from both sides of the bill. Number three, microtext of the letters R and B and the numeral 100 can be seen with a magnifying glass in the digits of the upper left denomination of the note. Number four, this image, which looks a bit like an ancient Chinese coin, should line up perfectly with the same image that appears on the back side of the note. Number five, when you view the bill from a certain angle, the number 100 appears at the top right. Number six, the lines printed on the right feel raised. Number seven, if you tilt the note, you can see the numeral 100 in the lower left corner shifting from green to blue. Number eight, hold the note up to a light source to see a watermark containing the bill's denomination. Number nine, the ink feels raised. Number 10, the ink feels raised on some parts of Mao Zedong. Number 11, there are symbols for the visually impaired that feel raised. Now, moving to the back side of the note, we see number four here again. This image is the one that I just said looks a bit like an ancient Chinese coin. It should line up perfectly with the same image that appears on the front of the note. Moving to number 12 now. The value of the note can be seen in tiny print on the security thread. The security thread should be well embedded in the note and not spill out wider than the note itself. Number 13. 
Yuan is printed on the bill where I've indicated in the picture. Number 14, the year of issue is printed where I've indicated in the picture. Moving on to the 2019 version of the bill. Number one, hold the note up to a light source. An authentic bill will have a watermark of Mao Zedong in the white area. Number two, the serial number should gradually get smaller as you read from the middle to the right. Number three, hold the note up to a light source. There should be a white watermark next to the numeric value. The watermark should contain the value of the note. In this example, we are looking at a 100 yuan note, so the watermark should say 100. Number four, the ink on Mao Zedong's collar feels raised. Number five, the security thread changes from hot pink to green depending on the angle from which it is viewed. It should be well embedded in the note and not spill out wider than the note itself. Number six, Tilt the bill and the markings found here become a 100. The blank spaces also fill with color. Show me the money, China's banknotes. While some form of currency has been in use in China practically since the beginning of time, this section will mainly focus on banknotes printed during or after 1980, except for the less popular Fin notes which were printed in the 1960s. Also, don't pay too much attention to my tones as I will be speaking Chinglish throughout this section. The frequency of usage of banknotes versus coins varies depending on where you are in the country. Typically, coins are preferred in urban areas and small notes are more popular in rural areas. Now let's talk denominations of bills that are available. The yuan comes in 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 yuan banknotes. The jiao comes in 1, 2, and 5 banknotes. The fin comes in 1, 2, and 5 banknotes. The slideshow will start with the fin. Think penny here. Because of its extremely low value, both banknotes and coins are becoming increasingly rare. In fact, the only time you may encounter the fin is at a supermarket. The People's Bank of China started issuing Zhao banknotes featuring Chinese minorities back in 1980. They are becoming rare in that they were withdrawn from circulation in 1999. The one yuan banknote comes in three versions. The first was released in 1996 and has two minority women on the front and the Great Wall on its back. In 1999, an updated one yuan banknote was issued featuring Mao Zedong. The back side pictures the three pools at Westlake. In 2019, the one yuan bill was updated to include brighter colors and more sophisticated anti-counterfeiting features. The 2 yuan banknote is a rarity, but is still legal tender. Two minority women are on the front and the South China Sea is on the rear. In 1980, a 5 yuan banknote was released that has a Tibetan woman and a Muslim man on its front, while the back features China's longest river, the Yangtze. The 1999 version of the banknote has Mao Zedong on the front and Mount Tai on the back. A new edition of the 5 yuan banknote was issued in 2020 and features Mao Zedong on the front and Mount Tai on the back. The 10 yuan banknote can be found in four different versions. The first was released in 1980. It has an elder Han man and a young Mongolian man on its front. The back features Mount Everest in the Himalayas. The second version debuted in 1999 and once again features the founder of the People's Republic of China, Mao Zedong, on its front. The rear contains a drawing of the three gorges of the Yangtze River. A commemorative banknote was released in 2008 to mark the Beijing Olympic Games. 
The National Stadium, or the Bird's Nest, can be seen on its front, while the rear has an ancient Greek statue of a discus thrower, pictures of athletes, and the year 2008. The Ten Yuan Bill featuring Mao Zedong was updated in 2019 to include brighter colors and more sophisticated anti-counterfeiting features. The 20 yuan banknote has two versions. The first was released in 1999 with Mao Zedong gracing the front once again. The back features the scenery of Guilin. The 20 yuan bill featuring Mao Zedong was updated in 2019 to include brighter colors and more sophisticated anti-counterfeiting features. You can find the 50 yuan banknote in four different versions. The first, issued in 1990, features portraits of an intellectual, a farmer, and a worker. The rear displays the Hukou waterfall on the Yellow River. In 1999, the 50 yuan banknote was updated to feature Mao Zedong on its front and the Potala Palace in Lasha on its back. This bill was then updated in 2019 to be brighter in color and less vulnerable to counterfeiting. The People's Republic of China commemorated its 50th anniversary with a special 50 yuan banknote in 1999. The front has an image of Chairman Mao Zedong giving a speech in Tiananmen Square in 1949. The back features doves of peace, the statue of a lion, an ornamental column, and a globe. Five versions of the 100 yuan banknote have been released. The first one debuted in 1990. It features four former Chinese leaders, including Mao Zedong, on its face. Its back pictures the Jingangshan Mountain. In 1999, the 100 yuan banknote was updated. This version of the bill features Mao Zedong on the front and the Great Hall of the People on the back. In 2015, the 100 yuan bill featuring Mao Zedong was updated to include anti-forgery features and higher quality printing. The update was a precursor to the remaining denominations getting a similar update in 2019. Two commemorative 100 yuan bills have been released. First, to commemorate both the Millennium and the Year of the Dragon, bright yellow and orange banknotes were issued. Fittingly, these notes have a dragon and a fireball on their face. The back has China's centenary altar in Beijing and two flying female spirits. Three varieties of this note exist, with each being printed in a limited number. It was removed from circulation that same year. So, these dragon bills are now a well sought after collector's item. To celebrate more than 40 years of successful exploration of space, the People's Republic of China released a commemorative banknote in 2015. On the front is China's 2012 crewed spacecraft docking with the Chinese Space Lab. Alongside that is a picture of China's first satellite that was launched in 1970. The third and final picture is the country's first lunar orbiter that circled the moon from 2007 to 2009. The back showcases the progress made in space exploration throughout time. From the flight of birds to the Wright brothers' first human flight, to commercial flights, to spacecraft. Did I miss any common banknotes? Please tell me in the comments below. Now, let's move on to China's coins. Coins are available in 1 and 10 yuan, 1, 2, and 5 jiao, and 1, 2, and 5 fen. As mentioned earlier, Fen coins are rarely used today due to their low value. As with other nations, the featured images on the coins have varied some depending on the year of its release. So the coins you encounter may vary from what is depicted here. Also, certain denominations and coin sizes have gone in and out of production. Whether or not a coin is still produced does not affect its use as legal tender. So, as a traveler, you need not concern yourself with knowing what coins are still being minted. The most notable coin is the commemorative Ten Yuan coin. It was released in 2015 to celebrate more than 40 years of the People's Republic of China's success in the exploration of space. Well, that wraps up our discussion of all things money in China. If you missed any of the six parts, you can find links to the other episodes in the description below. See you next time.